your first alert weather with meteorologist Chris Bruin. Well, good Monday morning. I hope you had a great weekend. It was a washout, but uh, we're seeing more rain this morning. When does the rain end? Well, a much better weekend is in store down the road, but we have to get through a couple more days of rain. Seeing that lighter shower activity across Jackson Hole right now. Showers off towards the, the mountains, the higher elevations above 8,000 feet. Across Grand Teton National Park, picking up on a few snow showers this morning. Lighter showers, though, in the form of rain over the Teton Valley and Swan Valley. These are slowly working their way towards the north and west. That means the Snake River Plain going to be seeing a little bit of lighter shower activity this morning and across the west. Much colder air compared to where we were last week. You know, we're starting off temperatures in the 30s and 40s. You can see all the blues all throughout the Intermountain West. Another cold front, though, getting ready to move in towards the Pacific Northwest. That's going to bring more showers and clouds in store for Tuesday and much colder air, especially as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday. So for today, mostly cloudy skies. Might be lucky to see a little bit of sunshine for some of us, but we're going to see plenty of rain showers, lighter showers for the most part, but as we head towards the afternoon, might have an isolated storm or two, especially further south and west towards the central mountains. That's where we'll see some uh, more shower activity this evening around 8 p.m. tonight. A few uh, breaks in the rain, more clouds though, and showers to continue even overnight and heading into tomorrow. That cold front's going to be moving through, energizing the atmosphere once again. So more showers and heavier storms at times with mostly cloudy skies. A cloudy start to our Tuesday and more of the clouds and rain are going to continue. But heading into Tuesday night, we start to see some clearing and improvement and into Wednesday, a lot more sunshine with much colder temperatures. So for today, temperatures are going to struggle to get to the 40s and 50s this afternoon because of all the clouds and rain around 49 for your high in Stanley. Further south, we might be able to see a little bit of sunshine, might warm us up to the lower 60s across Pocatello and American Falls, 60 in Aberdeen, 59 though for Idaho Falls and Rigby. Further east, it'll be all the 50s and 40s once we cross into Wyoming with mostly cloudy skies. Snow for the mountains in the higher elevations above eight to 9,000 feet. And in the southeastern highlands, mid 50s with more rain and clouds around. Very overcast for the start of the week. So for Idaho Falls, we have to get through two more days of rain. That's today and tomorrow. Not as heavy as what we saw over the weekend. We'll have times where it's heavier showers, but it won't be an all day deluge like we saw on Saturday and Sunday. Afternoon highs staying into the upper 50s through Wednesday before we have a beautiful warm up just in time for the weekend. Pocatello will go from the low 60s to upper 50s the first half of the week. Overnight lows, though, are going to get quite chilly heading towards the middle of the week as the clouds begin to clear out and temperatures getting near that freezing mark before they warm up slightly this weekend. Rexburg will see a very little in the way of sunshine for the first start of the week. Monday through Wednesday, we have a good chance of rain, especially Monday and Tuesday as that cold front moves through. Overnight lows getting below freezing for the middle of the week, but warmer temperatures heading towards the weekend with lots of sunshine. Blackfoot will go from mostly cloudy and rainy on Monday and Tuesday to sunny and dry with pleasant temperatures for the weekend, including Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Jackson will have uh, cool temperatures in the 40s through the afternoon with cloudy, uh, rainy skies. Might see a little bit of snow mixing in overnight on Tuesday and Wednesday morning, but temperatures getting chilly for the middle of the week before they warm up gradually this weekend. Nice. Warm up sounds yeah, really nice so right about we now. We deserve a nice weekend for once <laughs> after a washout we had last weekend. And the sunshine, that sounds so nice. Yeah, Already absolutely. looking forward to the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Thanks.